Hey, my name is Alan and welcome to a video and today I'm going to show you how you can boost up your graphics cards performance for free and you can do the process within five minutes. So um, let's hop into my desktop. Now we're in my desktop and the process that we're going to be doing on your graphics card today to actually boost up its performance for free is applying an overclock. Now you've probably heard of the term overclock before and You've heard things like it'll make your system more unstable and it'll do more crashes on your system and it'll burn your graphics card, blah, blah, blah. It'll hurt your PC's performance and might make it explode. I don't know what you're hearing about it, but overclocking is safe, especially with MSI Afterburner, which is a software that we're going to be using today. So download MSI Afterburner, install it as usual, double click the thing, next, 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 and you know, bada beam, bada boom, you're done with it. I want you to download Heaven Benchmark or Unigen Heaven. I don't know what you want to call it. It's a piece of program way back 2009 used to actually test out GPUs. Now, after you install both softwares, you can run both. Right here, I'm going to open up my MSI after burner and I'm going to run you through what you can do with it real quick before we start the actual overclock. You're probably seeing on your screen right now, it's not the same as what you have just installed. Well, first of all, I want you to open up your settings and copy some of my settings here. I don't recommend really unlock the voltage control and voltage monitoring you can just uncheck those i'm pretty sure by default those are not ticked now to make yours look like how mine looks like so you can actually follow the tutorial you go into here you press the right arrow multiple times go to user interface and as you can see right here i have this user interface skin on click ok click apply so how do you actually overclock now you can automatically overclock if you just want your msi afterburner to do all the job for you to test what is stable and what is unstable and then just apply it in a snap by clicking the search function or automatic overclock i call it automatic overclock but you, you just press scan it does its own thing for like 30 minutes and then you just click apply and that's it you're good to go now i want to do mine manually because you can get more performance than what msi afterburner would give you now my trick here is to increase the clock by by increments of 10 or 5 that's just how it works don't ask me why on memory clock i can go and increase them by 20. Now, if you will see my final core clock and memory clock, the core clock is pretty low and the memory clock overclock is 930. How did I got to this without destroying my PC? Well, I did the thing by increments. I kind of skipped a little bit and I got into these numbers. And now how would you know if your overclock is still stable? Disclaimer, if your PC crash just restarted and it should restart to default. Why? Make sure that this thing right here is not blue while you are still testing out your overclocks. You don't want to save them and auto start them with Windows. You want them to reset every time you restart your PC to make sure that everything is safe and would still run. We go into the thing called Unigen Heaven as what I have, you know, asked you to install at the start of the video. So I'm gonna just run mine. Here you go. We're currently running Unigen Heaven right now. And um, let's give it a few moments. There you go. Just keep this running in the background. You don't have to click the benchmark while you're actually still trying to overclock. If you increase by like fives or by tens on core clock and memory clock, once you actually get this Unigen Heaven to stop responding, then that's the time that you wanna lower it down again to keep it stable. Now, once you find your optimal peak performance for your graphics card overclock, that's the time that you want to click benchmark. Now, if on benchmark, you need to have it or your PC doesn't crash, then success. Good for you. Now, what you want to do is now save it and you can actually run it with Windows. Now, if you still think it's not super stable yet, you can test it out for days or months with different softwares and games. See if any of those crashes. If none does, then you can do the save. Just want to press save. Want to pick a number or a slot right here. We're gonna press check. Let's just say your overclock is now stable. You can run it with Windows, save it again. And then this time we're gonna lock it. That's basically it. That's basically how easy it is to boost up your graphics card performance without paying for anything or adding anything to your PC. Now, the only thing left is to actually show you the performance with and without overclock. So uh, here you go. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much it. Again, my name is Alan and hopefully you've learned a thing or two in this video. That is literally the easiest way you can increase your GPU's performance for free. And uh, I do have my social accounts like Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and even Twitch at Alan Avila underscore. You can also subscribe to my other YouTube channel where I do gaming and maybe an IRL content creator. And of course, this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video, share it with your friends, turn on the notification bell for everything. Yeah, I guess that's it. See ya.